2022. Well, we survived. We survived. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I'm glad you. I'm glad you went with that. <laughs> um, this was an experience this year. Um, yep. We've been checking social media, and a lot of folks are having a great time. Sure. A lot of folks are enjoying themselves. It's you know it's it's working out well for a lot of folks. Um, not so much for all of us. Um, it was a it was a bit of a trial this year. I have to admit. Um, I think it really started with me. Um, I wasn't informed of any of the panels that I was, that, um, I was accepted. So I had to find out by checking the schedule and discovering they were there. Um, which, which came up like what, a, two days before the con actually started. Oh, the, the schedule itself oh, was schedule two was weeks. Yeah, yes. Right. Um, yeah, but the guidebook wasn't actually um, available until two days before the convention. So that was interesting. Um, Awesome, Mogu Mogu. Glad to um, hear you go to um, Otakon. What was your experiences, um, uh, Mogu Mogu? I'm very curious. Um, why did you miss? Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a shame. Glad you had a good time uh, when you got in. Yeah. Um, we had rather different experiences. <laughs> Actually, the line for us wasn't really a problem. No. Um, yeah. We were able to get in, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, I had a couple of panels double booked, so we ended up dividing that up between some other uh, panelists. And then I got in on Thursday night to pick up my uh, uh, panelist ribbon and uh, uh, stuff. I already got the badge. These are the 2022 Otakon badges, which are holographic, which is very cool. Which I don't think she actually shows. Oh, there, there it goes. Is it holograph little... or is it lenticular? Or whatever lenticular. That thing there we that. go. Lenticular. So pretty cool. I learned a word at some point in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the little presenter thing. Um, so I showed up on Thursday to get all that that stuff. Took a little while, um, only to discover they didn't have any of those. Um, <laughs> there were no presenter uh, ribbons. So I had to come back the next morning, except that my one of my panels started before they actually had the ribbons in. So that was an, an experience um, because I came in the next morning to, to, to figure that out. Went up to um, um, panel ops and was like, was fun. which was fun. They were not having a good day. No, um, they were just running around the chickens with their heads cut off. But meanwhile, the the table with the presenters were just like this. <laughs> yeah, there were a handful of us sitting around just going, uh, yeah, yeah. But fortunately, um, they gave me my special pass. Yeah, it would take me to after, various after presenters. I had to yeah. actually go grab the guy in charge and go we need this now please please mm -hmm. so um this was my pass <laughs> whatever that means <laughs> i think it's allowed on stage maybe yeah i still think it says a burned sausage <laughs> <laughs> a burned on sausage a burned on sausage that's right I, <laughs> with two little no. cute little sticker uh stamps on it um and this is yeah so th this is this is my my burned on sausage pass <laughs> um so Took that down to, to the panel room where nobody cared. Nobody cared. <laughs> oh, good. You're here. You get on stage. Um, but that panel went quite well. I actually can show you here real quick. Um, let me switch over to... Actually, we will uh, scroll down go the opposite direction here. Um, so um, we had... Nope. Add to stream. There we go. Um, so we had pretty good turnout there at that first panel. Um, I had a good time there. That was the um, Isekai panel, Isakai, history of yeah. Is 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 Isakai panel. So that was that was a lot of fun. Um, and then went on to to do the rest of the con and kind of hang out and and go to panels and such. Um, got to see some really cool cosplay uh, while we were there. Um, Elias from Ancient Majesty's Bride yeah. here. Um, the unusual yeah. unusual Hilly Churl from Genshin Impact. <laughs> Um, pretty random. Um, here is the line later on on Friday. Yeah. Give you an idea. Wrapping all around that building. Um, Fortunately, in the cloud, not in the burning hot Washington sun. It's true. That's true. Yeah. It wasn't, wasn't that bad at that point. Um, we got a perfect blue cosplay. I just want to so, point out. So literally, yeah. we were we Brent and I, where Brent and I were, were trying to, you know, we're talking as we're moving through the line. We were both discussing about what would be some unusual um, 
cosplay that we have seen. We were talking about Satoshi Kon. We we're just like, oh, it's so hard because everything you know, everyone's going to kind of look normal. Da 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 da. John shows up and John turns around and goes, oh wait, perfect blue. And we look. Yeah. And go, oh my god. <laughs> we were just talking about this. What what the heck? Exactly. Well, see, I was bringing fresh eyes since you since I just had Ubered in. So, like, hi, how you doing? Fresh eyes. eyes. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, we had already been up since five. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. on the road at that point. Yeah. <laughs> We're waking up to get on the road. Mm-hmm. Um, here's Artis Alley to give you an idea of kind of the size and scope. Uh, really, really big this year. Um, I mean, about as big as, as previous years, but still very, very large. A lot of folks, a lot of things to see and do. Um, and uh, there's a dealer's room. Um, good idea. We can talk about it a little bit later. Yeah, exactly. I, I um, like the fact that they opened up the aisle centers more. So mm-hmm, that in yeah. years gone by, it's been a little like shoulder to shoulder as people are standing deep. And it's like yeah. this time the aisles were, even with as many people, the aisles were still somewhat mobile. Just like, yeah. thank you. I appreciate mm-hmm. that at least. You yeah. organize that better. Hey, good yeah. on you. <laughs> Um, and, um, yeah, so there's a good amount of, uh, of, of that stuff. Um, also things to buy at Otakon. <laughs> yeah. This is a Your Forger Dakimakura for 600 US dollars. We did some Googling earlier today. Want to guess yeah. how much you can pay for a similar Your Forger Dakimakura? A hundred bucks. 25. Oh, wow. Not even joking. Not even joking. But see, that, that, that was made out of the 50, tears of, that was... of war fans. <laughs> <laughs> it's stitched together with rare spider silk. So we are all or pants. We are all, all or pants. Um, <laughs> um, but lots of lots of cool cosplay at the con as expected. Half of it was Genshin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genshin was everywhere. Genshin Absolutely, has all the monies and all the costumes. <laughs> yep, exactly. You, say, you, know, you saw a lot of Yam- Yamato cosplay. I missed that. Yamato, oh, cool. I did, I did not see all the Yamato cosplay. Yeah, I missed those. Um, I will point out, in fairness, the three of us play Genshin Impact. So we're doing that. What, what, what is the term for the psychological thing where, like, if you're looking for something, you see it, oh, but you know. don't see it if you're not looking for it? So I'm sure we were all have that bias walking around. Ooh, Genshin. Ooh, Genshin. Venti, Venti. Right, exactly. yeah. <laughs> Kazuha, neat. Kazuha. Also, the most <laughs> disturbing. Asuka figurine I've ever seen in my life. I want your soul. <laughs> well, she's got washable hair so that you can sit around and go, no. Timote, Timote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no. Um, I did not see any which had, I, I, ooh, there, there may have been an atelier, which had an atelier cosplay. That is certainly possible. I, I, I saw some of those sort of, you know, greenish, you know, green costumes, but I don't remember seeing um, specifically. Um, there's some Itasha cars there. Very cool. Um, so you can see a bunch of, uh, of that stuff. Um, I think I had some other photos. Yep. Um, of all of those there. So a lot of neat, neat wraps of various anime characters. Um, I just had to take a photo of, of the other one because, uh, you know, oops. Reasons. <laughs> well, just because of, you know, faceless of Sailor Moon. <laughs> I think that's so that you can I fill it fill it in later. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like you take a picture of that and then you can Photoshop it in and be like, hey, look, my face is on a car. Perfect. Yes, I that's guess, not creepy. Maybe. <laughs> no, not at all. No one else recognized yeah, boy Kung Ming. Hell yeah. Great awesome. cosplay. Yeah. Um, so uh yeah, so we we headed around the um um, what were some of the panels you guys went to and you you enjoyed? What were some of your sort of panel experiences? Nothing. Uh, well, we went to some. some oh, I thought you were talking out. to chat. <laughs> no, 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 I'm like looking at yeah. chat, and be like, hmm, what do we got? <laughs> uh, well, the what, what was the 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 um the manga one online Oscar? Awesome. Uh, um, Azuki, 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 Azuki yeah. which I think you guys had on the last on yeah. con, mm-hmm. and um, that was really neat. Uh, I, it, you know, it, obviously they were just telling us about their product, yeah, but it was just a really neat um, thing to hear, just kind of like a new uh, place to find manga. And it was, and you know, they're talking about the all the stuff that they're trying to license, and the cool thing that they're doing is they're like, yeah, nothing's off the board. You know, if, mm-hmm. if we can get it, we'll we'll put it up on there, and. Um, 
It seems like a pretty good deal. I mean, they got yeah. some interesting stuff. Um, you know, uh, what's the Yakuza babysitter one? Um, um, the Yakuza guy to babysitting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Yakuza guy to babysitting. They have that. They have, um, you, you know, they have um, a bunch of um, shoujo, shoujin, all that mm -hmm. stuff. And, yeah, I'm kind of. When I get home, I'm gonna kind of check them out. So yeah. See, see what I can get. Yeah, agreed. I was like, and I liked the uh, Studio Orange. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. You know, it was great talking, talk, hearing him talk, you know, discussing his career, discussing how they work together. And, mm -hmm. and again, somebody who is bilingual and like absolutely, I mean, there were a few words he said that you were like, oh, that doesn't sound exactly like American English. And yet the rest of it is just like the dude walked off a bus in LA, like, hi, how y'all yeah. doing? Like, <laughs> holy crap. Wow. Yeah. Um, and for, for those not familiar, Studio Orange is the studio behind V Stars, Land of the Lustrous, yeah. and the upcoming Trigun series, which everyone was. Like, oh, the kimono. The kimono. Yeah. Oh, the kimono, kimono dying. Really yes, yeah. that was really cool. Kimono, and they had a guy walking around with the actual fabric. Yeah, and that, that was great. It and touch it. Mm -hmm. it was really, it was really very interesting, actually, from a historical perspective. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, know, we just wandered into that one, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. Um, right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, our panel group did a, 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 um, a history of Kyoto Animation panel. Um, actually, who is Kyoto Animation? So it was more about the individual people working there, some of the kind of the, the leading lights of the studio. That was really interesting. A lot of folks are more about the anime. This is more about, you know, this person mentored this person who they wanted to do this thing. You got more of an idea of, right. of that, which is really cool. Um, I like that one a lot. Um, and another one of those where we needed more time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, we we needed at least another half an hour on that. Needed another yeah. half an hour with your panel to be able to, yeah. to I, get all the information out. I, I will give uh, <laughs> something that um, cons have been doing more and more, and other cons finally started doing as well. Is they build in a fifteen minute gap between each panel, so you don't get those overlaps where one person is finishing up and the other person is kind of sitting there. Like I, I, my my panel's starting now. Yeah. Um. So that was good, and and folks were keeping to that time nicely. So there was a good. Transition period. I like that a lot. Um, so there's that. Um, I like the light uh, light novel uh, voice actors, yeah. producers, directors. That was a lot of fun. Everybody that they brought in where it's just like, oh. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that's not just one person playing ticket. That's what what would we say? It was like eight or nine people. Or yeah. It's like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> two, tra <laughs> two translators, a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. Because yeah, they had a light novel. Actually, the author of... Uh, my teen romantic comedy snafu yep, snafu snafu um he was there his editor was there the guy who ran the um animation studio that animated snafu was there the head of tms right. of anime programming was there um um the voice the, actor who did some of the, the voices for the characters yep, exactly. with the animes was there <laughs> it was like it was, it, was, it was really nice and cool but it was very also amusing when they would you know first of course talking there in japanese and then like the others would respond and just laugh out loud and, and the rest of us in the audience was like ha, 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 translation, translation. yes translate quicker <laughs> Yeah, the TBS guy it surprised me that they would bring in TBS. I'm like, wow. Yeah. I mean, dang. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, the, the highlight definitely of that panel, uh, for those there was they asked about the isekai trend and what, what was happening with that. Yeah. Um, and so they deferred to the head of TBS, the, 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 the channel, and he stood up and said, I think isekai should die. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> Everyone just, whoa. You know? <laughs> Although he did say, I, I don't think it's going to die soon. Like, I think it has yeah. another five, maybe 10 years of life left in it, uh, which is fair. Like, it's, it's yeah. you know, it's it's, it's certainly not dead. <laughs> which, I mean, it, we, we've talked about this before, where it's like the, the permutations are starting to spin out of it. Yeah. So you're you're getting different takes on it. So in five years, Isekai is going to look really interesting. I like mm -hmm. to see how they've teased out some of the more esoteric elements of it. Mm -hmm. And maybe it'll become some kind of new genre by that point. Who yeah, knows? Yeah. The anime that, that has become a genre unto itself. Yes. Shall we call it? It will then become um, a sports anime. And then everybody goes <laughs> to nationals. Like, how oh, cool. <laughs> Neat. And how many places have you Isekai to? Well, Captain. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the new okay. kid on the block. I've only gone to one place. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so, how do you make an, 
an isekai where like an isekai sports anime where like it's how many is how many worlds can you jump to right you know and, and, and this is the guy who's jumped to like 38 worlds and this person has only done 26 and he's trying to catch up there we go yep and every place you go <laughs> I will succeed. I will be my rival. And, and make it Isekai over time. Yeah. So that he encounters baseball for the first time with like Abner Doubleday. Uh, mm. And like, you know, this guy just shows up and is like throwing a ball around. And then he like Isekai's into a, a different world, but mm. like similar timeline. So it's uh. 50 years in the future in another world where he now is like trying, he has to learn from a Babe Ruth. And like mm-hmm. of that world and then like there you just kind of s- dial it forward mm-hmm. and the other guy is doing that from se- from other different worlds and they ah. intersect right? mm-hmm. and that's where you've got there i've you been go. to 26 worlds and i'm now this good the other guy's <laughs> like well son i've been to 38 worlds and i've seen a lot i'm gonna take <laughs> this world team to nationals <laughs> oh. the question is is babe ruth a cat boy he could be a semi-sentient blob. <laughs> okay. Sold. Sold. <laughs> we'll, we'll call the guy from TBS. Listen, I know you're not hot on Isekai right now, but... <laughs> what if Babe Ruth were a slime? <laughs> and Isekai. No! No! All the things we can do. <laughs> exactly. Um, but, um, yeah, there were some weirdnesses as well. This this time around, um, the dealer's room closed at six, which they insisted has been true forever. Forever, which, um, I, which I can't remember. I I'm I'm wondering if it's a Mandela effect or whatever because yeah. I can't I can't remember a time except for once maybe. Yeah, that 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 happened. Yeah, but people were very they're definitely definitely complaining about it. Yeah. They're, they're very upset. Yeah. yeah, I think I remember that food court upstairs was closed early, but mm. I I thought our, the other times we've been at. I thought it was eight. I mean, yeah, yeah, I thought so too. Um, uh, lines were very long, um, uh, on Friday and Saturday. Um, if you got there, you know, post nine, 10 a.m., apparently. Right. Um, so that was, uh, that was unfortunate. Folks were, were, were standing outside for an hour, two hours, and it was three hours. Yeah. yeah. So, oof. Around got- the block, around the building, <laughs> like, holy. Yeah. Mm. What was the panel we couldn't get into? Oh, that was the Toonami Retrospective. Toonami right. Retro. With, yeah, uh, we, yeah we with the actual... That, was it a disco? No, was it the disco? Te- no, it was Bill uh, Bellio and uh, Steve, yeah, Steve Blum. Blum. It was Steve, Blum yeah. Steve Blum yeah. and Bill Billingsley. Yeah, yeah. 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 Billingsley. Yeah. Like, and and we didn't know that they were in there at first, yeah. so we were lining up, and they didn't even do a room clear. So, you know, we're yeah. just standing there for a few minutes before someone says, okay, it's done, it's over, go home. You know, we're just mm-hmm. like, uh... Yeah, but, yeah, but there was a there was a make good line for that before we couldn't get in. So yeah, yeah, um, and apparently that was not the only time something like that happened. No, uh, a lot of complaints online about uh, line issues, and not even just like long lines of just lines. People would line up and then just be told, "Nope, we're, you know, we're not doing that. You can't line up." Right, you can't line up. You're not allowed to. You have to mm-hmm. move on. And then Weird they're like, about. "Okay, line up," and it's just like, mm-hmm. "Yeah, what, what are we doing? What do you want?" And then, of course, <laughs> Yeah, you know, and then you know we're hearing stories about people outside being redirected to the wrong place. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we we just there's things like like when we went in when I went in there on Thursday night because I came down because I, because they instituted a COVID policy 72 hours before the con, <laughs> um, and so when you showed up there, if you had your badge, you were supposed to be able to to get in and get your COVID thing. You had to prove it with you know a Vax card or mm-hmm. you know, a doctor's whatever. And anyway. Point being is that, you know, there was no real explanation as to how you did it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I was actually in line for a while. Uh, not long, actually. Not very long at all. And I got pretty far up before a girl came up and said, oh, do you have your badge? And I'm like, oh, yeah, here it is. And she goes, do you have your badge card? I'm, uh, here. Here's my ID. She's like, okay, here you go. Boom. But there was no announcement to anybody. Like she, mm-hmm. it's not like she was yelling. Oh, by the way, mm-hmm. if you have this, yeah, you can do this. Not none of that. Mm-hmm. And uh, of course, there was you know, you trying to get in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I would think that if you were a panelist coming to get your stuff, so you mm-hmm. do your thing because you got the first panel, one of the first panels in the morning. Yeah, that they would go. 
oh, you're a panelist, check you off on a list and say, mm-hmm. oh, okay, Brent P. Newhall, please come on in. Mm-hmm. You big schlub, me. You stay out there because you're not on <laughs> yeah. the yeah. panel. Yeah. Stay out in the hot. No, mm-hmm. it, yeah. But you would think that that would happen. That would make sense. But no. No, no. I had um, to wait outside of everyone else. No. Yeah. It was odd. Yeah. Lo- um, out, outdoor line management and wristlets and directing mm-hmm. yeah. was want. This, yeah. this year that I like I've never mm-hmm. seen like we mm-hmm. learned later on you could go to the second door mm-hmm. and that was oh, if you was had second. your badge yeah. you had your wristlet <laughs> and you could get in in like two seconds mm-hmm. versus the line for two hours like mm-hmm. somebody oh, needed to say some words <laughs> yeah yeah and then there was getting the additional you know bracelets that John and I had a separate quest on uh, true <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. yeah he screamed at Max I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Whatever I did, I'm so sorry. Please stop yelling at me. Yes, the the planning for 18 plus panels with wristlet uh, entry at early in the evening, and then making it like difficult yeah. to actually get the wristlets. <laughs> and so, you know, basically, the whole reason why we went on the quest was, and and I get it on a certain level yeah. was was that um, you we're know, trying, you, to Darn it. trying to see Gunbuster. Darn it, Gunbuster. And we try. We get up there, and they're like, "Oh, you, you need your 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 wrist." And and both John and I are just like, "I'm like, um, yeah." I pulled my mask that. off. We I'm like, even, "Really?" <laughs> yeah. and, and the guy is just like, he even knew. He knew. Yeah, the yeah. Guy knew, but he was just like, he stuck to his guns. He said, "No, you have to do the thing. You have mm-hmm. to get, the, yeah. you have to yeah. get the, the the wristband." And so you just go down there. Well, it's. If you're ever at Otocon, someone because oh, it's just down there. It's not just down there. It's never just two down buildings there. away. The Sahara <laughs> Desert, <laughs> like everything. Like what the hell? we literally had to like crawl. Th- you know, no, no, I crawl through. Whatever. No, we actually had to walk through where we came in originally for you know the registration, mm-hmm. and like okay, you have to go down that hallway. And we're like, mm-hmm. um, okay, there's no signage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're walking down the hallway. We're seeing an office. We're like, oh, do we? Go in there, and then we kept hearing screaming. No, further down. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> further down to a giant blue curtain with no yeah. signage, no indication mm-hmm. that was anything. <laughs> like, yeah. And so we go, we, know, we go down the thing. It's and just an abattoir. Get, it just walks way, yeah. this way, it's just slice you. Like, oh, no. it, I mean, and by the way, this literally is in tucked away in an obscure corner, away yeah. from everything. Mm-hmm. And we were just like, we we're like. Oh my god! And then we got. Then we were like, we turn around and go, "Oh, oh my god! How do we get out?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which again, we dodged a bullet. We got in yeah. at this weird nexus. We missed Gunbuster. Like that was a right. done. Yeah. That was gone. No more. Couldn't get in. And when we left there, everybody and their uncle showed up. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's like all of a sudden a small space with these people trying to like check IDs is crammed with people. Like, oh, oh. that didn't go well at all. Now, keep in mind, folks, that at this time, at 10 o'clock at night, on Saturday night, they're already starting to show 18 plus program, and they're actually yeah. doing room clears. So, John and I actually sat in one thing. This is how we figured out we needed the thing. Yeah. We, you know, we were told to get out, whatever. And, um, but the majority of the people at Otakon are not 18 plus. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, you have 85% of what Shall we tell what the attendance was? Over 40,000 people. Oh, that was the numbers for Saturday alone or just the the whole weekend? Overall, overall. yeah. Over 40,000. 85% of that cannot go to these things. Well, Mm -hmm. guess what happened on Saturday night? The majority of of these things were 18 and over. So you had all these kids looking. For a place to go. Video room two started clearing for 18 plus at 7 p.m. Yep. Yep. And other rooms at different other times, but it was real early this year. Yeah. And when you add into that, you shut down Dealer Hall and Artist Alley. Mm-hmm. And, you know, well, Dealer Hall at six, Artist Alley was at, was at eight. Mm-hmm. You all of a sudden end up with this crunch of people who are like, Okay, what do we, we can't do the 18s? Mm-hmm. We can't go shop around and spend any money. What do we do? We just mm-hmm. constantly circulate. <laughs> like, yep. Yeah. It was, it was, um, you know, we were going up, John, you and I were going up the escalator to, to meet back up with, with Brent before his panel at 10. Yeah. And as we were coming up, like 
a, a sea of humanity was descending down the escalators. Yeah. And we were just like, and we're like the lone two, like locust of the apocalypse, like going up, up the escalator. Yeah. And we're like, Oh, <laughs> we're against the trend. I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And there was nowhere to go. I mean, yeah, they, were just, yeah. literally, they were just literally. going. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank goodness for the video game room. Yeah. <laughs> that. That uh, I wish they had had the Gundam cases because I want to try it, damn it! But yeah, that, no, that absorbed a lot of people. There was I was I I wish we had had the energy to go over and see what everybody was chanting about when they yeah. were doing the rhythm yeah. singing game because it's like they were totally stoked on that. It's like you guys mm -hmm. are going. Yeah, it's like oh, yeah, we, thank we goodness. Oh, so tired. Yeah, so annoyed by the, well, at least I can attest to that. I was so annoyed at mm. one point. Um especially with the dealer's room when I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to eat my, we all know that it's closing, right? Mm -hmm. And it's all jammed up. People trying to go on the mm -hmm. and stuff. So we figure we can just get our food and eat it just really quick and then mm -hmm. get out. Right. So, you know, of course the, the, the volunteer comes by and she says, you know, get out. Basically. Well, uh, to be clear, she says, Oh, 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 oh. Because it's a giant room, right? The acoustics are horrific. Yeah. So you can't hear. She has a megaphone, so that just bounces it off even further. So by the time she gets to us, we're and we're looking at her like, what, what are you saying? We, <laughs> we think we we're pretty sure we know what you're saying, but what are you saying? Mm -hmm. And by this point, she's so irritated at just our mere presence, mm -hmm. you know. And she was just like, "You need to get out. You need to get out." You mm -hmm. know, it's just like, oh. And, and meanwhile, you know, they're just like, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. and I'm like sitting there with like just <laughs> cramming food yeah, trying to cram mouth. food in as fast mm -hmm. as you can. Mm -hmm. And she was just like, if you don't, basically, if you don't leave, you will be escorted out. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know, fries sticking out of my cheek. I was like, fine. <laughs> What's your sticky fries anyway? <laughs> Threw them at the 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 the, the basket. I, I don't even know if they went in. Did they go? Did they go? I don't in? know. I don't or know. Just Mo most most of them did, but like I said, the the bat the little box from it bounced mm -hmm. on the top and then came to rest. Uh, and yeah. I, that's what, like I said this morning, <laughs> like that's why I was just waiting for somebody like, gotta put that in the can. And then you were going to go like completely Hulk. Completely. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. It's about to um, get ugly, people. <laughs> John and chat, if they had come around saying the reactor is melting, you have to leave the room. That would have been great. Yeah. yeah. We would have laughed and said, okay, we're on our way. <laughs> But you know mm. that's that that's what didn't happen. And, no. that's, and just to give you an idea, folks, that's kind of the tone. And even though I'm kind of ragging on this one particular mm -hmm. volunteer, to be fair, um, they were overwhelmed. Yeah, they were they were mm -hmm. they were um, yeah. incredibly overwhelmed. Yeah, and I kind of you know, I do feel for for yeah. the volunteers because they did not sign up for this. Yeah, and unfortunately, it sounds like. Um, cause, cause the weird thing is we've been talking about this <laughs> all day. Yeah. Um, what happened? Like, why, why, why did it, why do we have all these issues? And it's not that they were understaffed. Right. Like there, there, there were staff around, there were people around to kind of handle things. It's like they didn't have the materials or the training to kind of deal with the people there. Right. Um, nobody had, you know, end of line signs, things along those lines. Right. If, if anything, it was, you know, scrawled on a piece of cardboard, um, it, there was just it was just lack of preparation. If and, like. and and anytime you asked somebody a question, mm -hmm. it was literally they just went, uh, I, 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 I God, mm -hmm. why, please don't. <laughs> you know, I can just see. Don't hurt like, me. <laughs> you know, at one point, I'm sure that they were like standing there going, "Oh God, can I hide this thing so nobody comes up to me?" Because they're probably, you know, I'm like, I probably was like, you probably see this big schlub like me coming up to them. Or, uh, do you know where the... <laughs> oh, God, please. I gotta imagine the volunteer like break room. There's like people <laughs> huddled in corners, you know, folks, folks, folks going around coffee. like like a cup of water, be like, Barbara, are you okay? I I can't handle the questions anymore. I can't handle the questions. I know it's it's called shell shock, honey. You'll be fine. It's okay. It's okay. I recommend I... 20 cc's of like uh Snickers, uh banana split, <laughs> and two coffees. I think she'll pull through. It, it's the anime thing of the guy in the corner gloomy. Yes. But they're all in corners gloomy. Yeah. <laughs> well, as we had we had talked about safety issues that had come up. Yeah. The the, the more as I was as I was driving back to mm. Toronto, the more I was thinking about, it, you know, 
when Steve threw out his, his meal and we're trying to get onto the escalator, do you realize the incredibly dangerous situation that was with the number right. of people crushing yeah. in to get into that area mm-hmm. that no one managed? Yeah. No, no yeah. one nope. pulled people around. Go around mm-hmm. the post, please. Come down the aisle mm-hmm. and start nope. to line up and then proceed orderly. It's like, mm-hmm. no. Everybody just, just bottlenecking into that exit. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, dude, that yep. is not. And, a, and to be clear, oh, this is not just about the dealer's room. This We're just yeah. using this as an example. This yeah. was mm-hmm. pretty much all across the con. Mm-hmm. And um, can we tell them about the, the, the guy being thrown under the bus? That ops panel. Um. No. Okay. We'll 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 we'll, we'll leave that. Yes. Um, I'll have that on my on my. (laughs) There we we go. We'll leave that for your (laughs) channel. Um, Suffice to say that you know the the staff was having a bad time and and we overheard it. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't just overheard. It was like here you go. Yeah. (laughs) But um, yeah, yeah, the 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 poor staff was was overwhelmed. Um, I you know you know as we were talking about it today, more and more clearly, it was Mm -hmm. coming to us that you know. They were just weren't trained. They didn't have the proper authority to do anything, responsibility. They didn't mm-hmm. have, the, like, you know, Brent was saying, the materials uh, to be able to do the thing. Yeah, the SAP and, would have been awesome. <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, like yeah. manual to follow that they mm-hmm. didn't have something mm-hmm. to train mm-hmm. on, you know? And I think these people were, were you know, I, I'll get more into it on my channel, mm-hmm. but, but, you know, we might talk about how the, the the volunteers treated us, but just understand that we also recognize that they were just in a situation they were mm-hmm. woefully unprepared for. Yeah. And that's not their fault. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we are describing behavior that occurred. Right. We are not ascribing intent right. or anything right. along those that this is just what happened. Those are, uh, I'm sure, lovely people that I would, I would very much enjoy, yeah. you know, sitting down with, right. but our interactions with him in those moments were not pleasant. Well, the times that it was a moment of breather, like coming in mm-hmm. and being like, good morning. And folks are like, good morning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then when everything goes insane, they stop talking to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. Natural human reaction. You're like, I can mm-hmm. give back some positivity when I'm not like just in the tidal wave of, mm-hmm. of people. Like, yeah. okay, mm-hmm. fair enough. Yeah. Um, so for me personally, as a panelist, um, I had, so I, I, I main, I headlined two panels, uh, parents got to anime, um, Saturday night at 10 PM. Cause that's when all the parents are going to be. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Three hours after all of the 18 or after some of the 18 plus panels have started. Um, we had a grand total of 12 people at that panel, um, including these guys. And um, next uh, uh, morning, I did. So this morning, I did my brief history of anime, which is pretty well attended. That was um, yes. a, yeah. a good smattering of people. Um, I'd say half full, maybe. Yeah. Um, so that was um, uh, that was nice, and some good comments afterwards, some good discussion afterwards with some folks, um, including a, a viewer of the channel. So yep. yep, when you're watching this later on, nice to meet you. Um, so that was fun. That that was uh, that was cool. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, the parents guide. Uh, uh, panel was a bit of a dud, um, as, as it turned out. But um, you know, it happens. It happens. Yeah. So, well, uh, we enjoy like listening to Zhang Li. Steve and I enjoy sitting in the audience, just listening to your dulcet tones <laughs> as you're up there on the stage. Osmanthus yeah. wine tastes as good as I remember. Oh, oh, just like, oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> chills. Oh, it's like standing on the top of an alpine mountain. Yeah. <laughs> and you write to York government patty. <laughs> it's like listening to Brent talking to the cock. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think well, you have for... your advertisement idea. Right there. there we go. <laughs> and, and again, driving back home with the number of hours that I had to think about things, uh. the more I think about. As we discussed, room for improvement, things that, that, that they need to change, but mm-hmm. it doesn't change my inherent love of the fact that I I so enjoy coming and seeing the awesome cosplays. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Saw yep. more crossplay this time than I ever yeah, have. True. And I, I yeah. just mm-hmm. beautifully done. I told you guys the very first day when I was trying was waiting to find you. I walked up to a gentleman who was dressed in a bunny girl. And yeah. I just walked up to him. I'm like, Dude, you have awesome legs. And he just turned around. He's like, thanks, man. 
<laughs> it's like, you know, this is, I love the passion involved in it. Yeah. I love hanging out with people I know, you guys, going to the yeah. panels, eating, doing crazy stuff, and just hanging out. And it's like, yeah. Yeah. you know, thank goodness that these, you know, bizarre things that happen, these odd glitches and bumps in here didn't ruin the mm -hmm. core concept yeah. of us being passionate for the thing that we love and being right. all together doing the thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Amen. So I, 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 I seriously enjoy it. It's <laughs> because all three of us are Tough guys. Tough guys. <laughs> I thought uh, about trying to do the tough guy when I came on, be like, I, I enjoyed the con because I'm a tough guy, but I just no, I'm tired. I just I can't do it. <laughs> I couldn't get the air guitar out and start wailing at it. Tough guy. <laughs> no one fight, fight the ninja. That's great. <laughs> so if you guys oh. haven't seen the um, documentary about the mid '80s called Miami Connection. Um, <laughs> I almost got John on that one. Um, the documentary. Oh god. Um, a a an, an extremely cheesy '80s uh, movie about uh, uh, cocaine motorcycle ninjas and, and the rock band uh, Taekwondo the experts that try to stop them. Yes, yeah. Dragon Sound. Dragon, Dragon Sound. Sound. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I that would be awesome. We get t-shirts made up to show us dragon sound. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so John, Classic guitars. You know? yeah. so, so John got me during, mm. during the, we're walking back uh, up to meet yeah. with you. And he goes, Samurai Cop. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> 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 Any any cheap polyester brown yeah. wig works. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That would be, I mean, again, that's like one of the really easiest kind of cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> Awful brown wig. And that's like basically blue jeans and like a sort of blue shirt and a t-shirt. I'm like, that, mm. yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Samurai cop. And a really chewed up sword. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh goodness. Anyway, um, see, this is what happens when you hang out with people and have a good time. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yep, definitely. Um, I will also um, uh, shout out in the dealer's room. They had they actually brought in like mini food trucks. Yeah. Yes. Um, and they had um, um, like Asian food and 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 uh, Mexican food and so forth. Yeah. Really and they had a firehouse subs. Yeah. Um, yep. Boy, was that. A good idea because the subs were pre-made. So just got in line, walked up. What do you want? Here, here's yeah, your yeah, sub. I'm, here's your drink. Like, yeah. I'm unpacking everything to get my <laughs> wall, and they're like, "Dude, we're ready." <laughs> Which again, you know, having the nice hot dish serve food, mm -hmm. fine. But those th those sections yeah. lined up with people, and it's like, mm -hmm. nope. Firehouse is like, and sub, and sub, sub for the back, and sub for you. That's sub. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> it's just like, and, and we're just like, we had the food already. We can eat now. <laughs> I know. Yeah. We can eat. Oh my god. I'm waiting for somebody to get the get the basket out and throw the thing and come over here. It's like, nope. You're good to go. Mm -hmm. So, pro tip for those going yes. to the, to the con. Yeah. It's a nice fast way of getting your food. Yeah. A, de a good quality food, mm -hmm. tasty. It, it actually was fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that brownie. That brownie was. Yeah. So I, I had the brownie. And I was just like thinking, you know, okay, it's deli brownie, whatever. It's probably gonna be still. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, this is really good. And they're both looking at me like, what? Do, do you do you need to be alone? With that? <laughs> good brownies. Steve's doing the face. Let's just sit over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've all had experiences with convention food in the past. <laughs> we all know the bar is, and it's down here. You know, it's right down yeah. here. <laughs> One of these days, I mean, when when Otakon like gets everything back to being where it should mm -hmm. be, um, twenty thirty or so. Yeah, I mean, another, another twenty five years, it'll be it'll be fine. Um, <laughs> I want to try the Caribbean soul yeah. truck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, just just <laughs> curiosity. I was like, mm -hmm. just to see whether it's it's good or is it like just really bland, like sort of like Disney World food where it's right. it's it's spicy enough that everybody will like it. 
yeah and nobody will be particularly impressed by it so it's like, mm-hmm. i know it sounds like a, why would you want to try it then because i thirst with curiosity yeah. <laughs> like, i must know exactly um yeah so sort of mixed bag for for me at least this year um yeah. uh, definitely some a lot of logistical issues behind the scenes yeah. um but in terms of just you know the the like you're saying the, the pure con hanging out experience classic yep. yeah man the cosplay oh, yes. man the cosplay oh, yeah man boy. the cosplay oh. yeah yeah any other sort of final thoughts on Otakon this year um oh uh dunbean Surprise. yeah yes are a battler dunbean yeah mm-hmm. um I, I you know i've always been kind of eh, whatever and then we got to sit down and watch a few episodes and it was like i'm like we're all just like oh Oh, I like that. I like that design. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. And Macross 7 is the best thing ever. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and if you goodness. believe me, I have a bridge to sell here. Ah. <laughs> oh. mm-hmm. I'm glad I, I saw it. Time. I'm glad I saw that. <laughs> um, it was a little soul crushing, but you know, <laughs> I still. Uh, it's I still love Macross and I you know one of those things where it's like watching what we watched of it and thinking maybe it could get better <laughs> maybe maybe, maybe the, the further it goes it gets awesome it has a fan base that's all I'm saying yeah <laughs> you know so, so I'll, I'll, I'm willing to I'm willing to give, give some effort to it to see just oh please right. <laughs> <laughs> don't do this to my childhood. <laughs> Any other thoughts, John? Wrapping it up. Um. Uh, again, you know, as we as we talked about at lunch today, I, I really would hope that they went through the four o'clock wrap up, and then had a had some staff meeting plans for later to discuss with handlers to discuss with the with a number of volunteers that might like to about what went right and what went wrong and then use that as a means of fixing the underlying stuff because again nothing impacted the pure joy that we all had doing all the Mm -hmm. cosplays and seeing all the stuff and hanging out with people and doing and just doing the stuff that we do Mm -hmm. but timing of stuff organization of stuff safety issues crowd Mm -hmm. flow uh, simple, you know, placing of, of staunchens to be able to mm-hmm. manage the, people the functionality for... of a con. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, we actually after your 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 uh, panel, the, the mm-hmm. last panel today, mm-hmm. after your panel, we had a really nice discussion with guys. Yeah, we did. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I mean, so it's like that. You know, those functional elements that I I would have thought in the past had been like absolutely solved. It's mm-hmm. it's just again, it's a con it's ostensibly buy otaku for otaku and the learning process continues so i Mm -hmm. i I hope that they get that dialed out so that the vendors will be happy to return Mm -hmm. the artists will be happy to return the panelists will be happy to return and everybody is in a good place because Mm -hmm. otherwise if you shoot yourself in the foot this is not going to see another 25 years if it was 2 30 today you were outside of the convention building then you were not in a good place no Organization, organization, yeah, organization. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, so, props to Otakon. They they keep doing the thing. They just need to dial in how to do it well. That's mm-hmm. all. That's agreed. Helpful. Agreed. Yeah. All right. We will be back in just a few minutes. Gonna take a quick break, and we'll be back with some more recent anime news. See you in a bit.